How do you market a product on social media? And can I promote my products on YouTube? And finally, how do you market your business on YouTube? So in this video, I'm gonna give you 10 steps to tap into the free resource that is YouTube with over 75% of Americans age 15 and up are on it almost every single day. You can tap into YouTube to market your food product. I'm gonna break down how to do this. And most all of this is absolutely free and it just takes a little bit of time to do it. And we're gonna get into that right now. All right guys, so welcome back to Marketing Food Online. It is Damian Roberti, founder and CEO of Marketing Food Online. So in this video, I'm super excited to bring you these 10 tips behind me on how to leverage the free resource that is YouTube. And if you're not familiar with the power of YouTube in YouTube videos, it is an amazing way to promote your food product or in general, you can market your business on YouTube as well, even if you don't have specific products or if you have a service instead, it is a great way to do it. So welcome to Marketing Food Online. And as I mentioned before in the introduction, I wanted to go over 10 specific things behind me on the board. Most all of these are the same things that I've actually done to leverage YouTube for multiple YouTube channels. I have over 40 million combined views. We have roughly about 200,000 or so subscribers. And I've been able to use YouTube to promote all of the businesses and even services and digital download products that we have on Marketing Food Online, my consulting business, and so many other avenues of ways to make money on YouTube. I've been doing it professionally now for about four and a half to five years. So number one, tap it into YouTube for your food product or any product for that matter. You wanna create a business channel. It's very, very super simple to do this. You go to YouTube, you create your channel with the name I would recommend that you use the name of your business. Don't create a personal account like Damian Roberti's YouTube channel. If you have a marketing, for instance, Marketing Food Online, we talk specifically about obviously marketing food and food production and food entrepreneurship and such, but you wanna create a channel dedicated solely to your food business. So if you are creating a protein bar and it's you know johnshighproteinbar.com or something to that effect, you wanna create a channel dedicated to the name of the business itself because all on the back end, when you start to optimize all of the information as far as the name, your addresses, your emails, uh, the description, the reason, the about page, all of this stuff needs to really uh, wrap around the idea of your food business, not you as a person or a personal website, website or personal YouTube channel. So try to distinguish that right off the bat. You wanna create one dedicated solely to your business. Number two, your product's demographic is on YouTube. So again, let's just use it as an example. So if you're into making a protein bar, you obviously sell that to people who are health conscious, people who work out, people who are athletic, maybe have a healthy lifestyle. All of those demographics, those types of people are on YouTube watching videos. So when you do that, when you start to create video content around promoting your product, talking about your protein bar, the benefits of your protein bar, and where you can find the protein bar. All of that information is super important. So your titles and your descriptions, your tags, and everything you say in the video all kind of wraps around the idea of those demographics. So just know for a fact that anyone who is selling anything, whether it's a product or service of any kind, your demographic is for sure on YouTube in some way, shape, or form. So you already have a built-in audience who is coming to the platform of YouTube every single day or every single week to look at information around those types of products. If you're selling salsa, if you're selling um, condiments, if you're selling any types of snacks, candies, if you're selling baked goods even, if you're on Etsy or you're on eBay or Amazon and you're selling baked goods and you have a, a bakery of any kind, believe me, trust me, there are people on YouTube that are looking at baked goods. They're looking at baked goods recipes. They're looking at where to find baked goods. YouTube is the number two search engine on the planet next to only Google. But the funny thing is Google actually owns YouTube, if you did not know that, and they actually begin to index and put into search results on Google videos, video content specifically from YouTube. So if you're creating a video about your food product, there is a good likelihood it will get indexed onto the searches found on google.com. Number three, research brands that are already using YouTube. So if you, again, get back to the protein bar. So if you wanna sell protein bars and that is your business and you create a YouTube channel and you wanna create video content about how the protein bar is healthy, um, some of the different flavor vari variations and varieties, maybe even some uh, behind the scenes footage on how you make the protein bars. All of this video content, someone somewhere already is doing something similar to it. 
So you wanna take a look at what brands are already doing and see the type of video content they have on their channels because that will give you an idea and it's great for imagination, it's great for creative ideas, brainstorming, to come up with some video content about your specific product if it happens to be protein bars of any kind, right? So research the brands that are already on there and see what content is working for them. Some of the videos may have hundreds of thousands of views. There may be a couple that have one or two million or more views. Why are those videos actually getting one or two million views? Watch the video, get some ideas for yourself, and then duplicate that in a way that transpires your brand, but in the same method that that video was made because that is working for that company. Number four, optimize your videos. This is the most critical aspect. Something that we implemented here on Marketing Food Online about a year, year and a half ago, is that we build a lot of content around Google searches, not YouTube searches, but searches that are found on Google, specifically in the food entrepreneurship space or in the food industry space, and that's what we do. And we do it by number one, the title. So again, let's go back to the example of your, your protein bar. So if you're creating a video around a specific protein bar, the title of that video needs to be about that specific bar. Maybe either the protein content, maybe the flavor, maybe the health benefits of it. Look on Google and find out what people are Googling about protein bars and tap into what people are really asking about. There is a little section called People Also Ask and it gives you a variety of different questions and keywords. Those keyword phrases are super powerful. And if you build a video around what people are asking about that specific protein bar and those questions in general, that's how those videos begin to get indexed under people looking for those keywords. So that's your title. In the description, now that remember that is the section just below the video where that gives you a description about what it is your video is about. Be sure to include the title in the first thing that you put. The first sentence, the first line of text needs to be duplicated from the title down to the description. That gives YouTube an understanding that this specific video is about that, that topic, that title. And then from there, you wanna duplicate, again, your keywords. Go down to the bottom below the actual description itself. Then you're gonna get into keywords. Make sure that the first and second, or even third and fourth set of keywords are either variations of or the exact title that you're putting on there as well as the first sentence in the description. All of these are super important to YouTube's algorithm for them to actually go, scan through the video, find out information about it, and pull that up as a video that they're gonna refer to somebody to watch, okay? Lastly, the speech, what you say in the video. All of my videos here specifically that I do on YouTube, specifically for Marketing Food Online, is that I try to say the title or what the video is about in the first opening lines. I don't wanna ramble on and babble on about my favorite color or who I am or even the Marketing Food channel. I don't promote that the first thing that I say. Always say the first thing that is in included with the title that's gonna be in your description and your keywords, the first opening section of your video, because again, that helps YouTube's algorithm find your video in search and then put that up as a description, something that can be found on Google as well as YouTube searches when people are looking for protein bars, as an example. Number five, so you wanna be consistent with your uploads. YouTube's algorithm feeds off of consistent uploading of videos. So basically, don't beat yourself over the head trying to figure out, oh, I'm trying to, what, am I, what video can I make to, is gonna, gonna be viral? What's gonna get millions and millions of views? Some of your videos can just be even a, a basic video about the product itself, a description, how to find it, how you make it. It doesn't have to be so intricate or so involved, but you wanna be consistent with your uploads because the more consistent, uh, whether it's a specific day of the week, whether you're uploading videos every single day, maybe a couple of shorts here and there, and then you have a large, uh, longer video format that you're gonna upload. It doesn't really matter, but if you can, be consistent with your uploads because the algorithm loves it. YouTube loves new content and they wanna recommend that to viewers. So if you're gonna start a YouTube channel and you wanna leverage it to market your business or even market a food product, you wanna make sure that you have consistent uploads. Pick a day that's great for you. Even if you just start off and you're only doing one video a week because maybe you have a lot of other things you're doing, that's fine, but at least you're getting started. If you're getting the ball moving and you're getting some momentum, trust me, all of those views over time will add up. The algorithm will love the consistency of your video uploads and you will find out that this is a great way to market a food product just tapping into YouTube. Next up, number six, you work with influencers and those that do unboxing videos. This is one of the greatest, greatest things that YouTube has, and they still have a lot of people who are starting new channels about unboxing. These are influencers, these are micro-influencers, as they're called, who have smaller followings. Maybe they have 15, 20,000 followers. Maybe they only have five or 6,000, but guess what? It doesn't matter. 
Here's why. If you approach these micro influencers who do unboxings and let's say you have a protein bar and you have a line of four or five different flavors of the product, or if you have salsas, if you have a candy or you have a baked good and you've got five or six variations, whatever it may be, you want to approach these influencers and say, look, um, I would love to send you some samples of our products. If you could demo them and give us an honest opinion of an unboxing, they will do it for you. In many cases, what they'll do is they're going to say the name of your product, to say the name of your business. And in the description below the video, they'll even put a link to your product on their YouTube channel when they get done unboxing it. So if you send them products, they do an unboxing, they're going to say, hey, check out the link down below to get, you know, Damien's protein bars at proteinbars.com, whatever it may be. And that way you can work with people who have an existing audience base. But again, it's on YouTube and it's going to be indexed on Google if they find it in the searches. Plus on top of that, you're tapping into their existing followers. Some of them may have 50 or 60,000 followers and they'll say, yeah, you know what? I do unboxing videos for 200 bucks, 250, 300 bucks. All of those prices are going to also be varied and based upon the amount of subscribers and followers they have on social media. The other great thing is, is that so many of these influencers and unboxings, unboxing videos, they actually push them out to their social following outside of YouTube. So they may have 40 or 50,000 people on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. All of those additional ways to get your product out there when you want to start marketing a food product on social media, this is a way to do it because on YouTube, once the video is made, many times they'll, they'll put it on their blogs. Many times they'll push it to social media. So your reach is going to be much greater than just YouTube followers and YouTube subscribers. So these influencers also, like I mentioned before, that are a lot smaller in the subscriber base, love to get free products because they're trying to build up content and videos on their channel. So that's why many of them will actually do it for free if you just simply send them samples, okay? So take a look at that as well. Influencers and unboxers are a great way to get your product on YouTube. Number seven, did you know that you can advertise your videos on YouTube? So once you create a channel on YouTube and you have a video or you have a library of videos, 40, 50 videos, you can choose a few of them and you can literally advertise directly to on, on, uh, viewers on YouTube through the feed that they have once your video gets put up and you start to pay for the ad itself. So you can actually tap into an existing video and you will advertise it directly to viewers on YouTube. So that is even better. Why is that better? Because you have an opportunity to narrow down the people who are going to literally watch it. When you create your ad campaign, you determine who sees it, how many people will see it, what the demographic is, the age group, those who like protein bars and those who are in healthy lifestyle. Again, these are all different factors that you can determine when you create an ad campaign so you can precisely and pinpoint the, the video being put in front of people who will potentially buy your food product. You can do that on YouTube as well. So next up, number eight, embed your videos on your blog or have others do it. Now embedding is actually a fantastic SEO method. It's something that we use to optimize our blogs and we use also throughout our, our um, podcasts. And even we even embed podcasts and our videos on our blogs as well and have other people do it. And what I mean by that is, back up really quick to the influencers in these unboxing uh, videos. Many of them have websites or have a blog. What they'll do is they'll take a, a embedded code which will pull up on YouTube. Once you copy and paste that, you can take that and put it onto your blog and it's a great way to send traffic back over to your YouTube channel if people find it on their blog. So if I was an influencer, I'm going to take it, make it once I make my video, I'm going to embed that on my blog and then I'm going to put it onto my website and maybe have share it out to other bloggers who are going to embed it as well. All of this creates like a spider web linking all the way back to your YouTube channel. All of these links, these backlinks and embedded videos also help with optimization and SEO for their own websites and it gives you additional viewers for your food product. Again, leveraging YouTube to promote your food product or your business. Number nine, paste video links to social media. So set aside all of the other people who are helping you, influencers and such. So once you make your own social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, even LinkedIn, which is a fantastic, that's a whole nother video. LinkedIn is an amazing resource to get views for your YouTube channel and promote your products. You can take all of these links and you can push it to your social media pages. On Facebook, if you create like DamiensProteinBars.com, if that's what I'm doing, I'll take links from my YouTube videos and I push it all the way consistently back and forth over to Facebook, to Twitter, onto Instagram, onto Pinterest even. Um, you can post fantastic links from Pinterest and it takes people right back over to your YouTube channel. And then from there, you're gonna be able to sell them your food product just with the links below the video. So all of this together combined, when you start linking social media pages and adding the URL link from the video, this is different than embedding. 
but this is a simple URL video link that you'll see on the top of the video or to the right of it, and you can post it out to social media. All of that has helped us on Facebook. We have tens of thousands of followers on Facebook who know about marketing food online because I take my videos from here and I link them over there. Same method if you're selling a food product, if you're selling protein, if you're selling uh, a salsa, if you're selling whatever it is that you're doing, all of those food product links from those videos can be put on social media, just bringing more traffic back to sell your product. And remember, all of this is free, of course, except for advertising. Now, if you're gonna run an ad campaign, of course, you have to pay for that. Everything else on this list, absolutely free, simply takes your time to do it. So paste the video links to social media. Number 10, see what is working with your analytics on YouTube. So the great thing about all of the information that YouTube provides its creators is analytics. Those are the backside on your actual YouTube channel, which give you all the data about who's watching your video, how many countries are watching your video. Really quick side note as well, Marketing Food Online, this channel specifically, we have over 50 countries that watch our videos. Now just imagine if you are selling a product online and it was a food item of some kind, you potentially could have 20 or 30 or 40 different countries watching videos to buy your products. And if you have the ability to ship it to them, obviously, in, in the logistical end of it, you can actually ship your products to all of these people who are watching all over the world. And again, guess what? It is free. This is a resource, guys, that has so many small food businesses don't tap into. You can tap into YouTube and its algorithm and create a channel that can sell your products 24 seven. You just have to take the time to do it and understand how it works. So you see what wor what's working and what's not. So on your analytics, some videos may be better than others that you post. And if they are, see why. What countries are watching? What's the age group that's watching? Remember, YouTube has an age demographic of 15 years old and up. They are always watching YouTube in some way, shape, or form. That is over, by the way, 75% of America watches a video or some video content on YouTube on a daily basis. That is insanely a lot. That is a ton of people. Those are your potential customers, okay? And again, it's costing you nothing. So lastly, video content is easily digested. What I mean by that, if you're not familiar with video content or content creation and, and the power it has, videos are very easy for people to watch. A lot of people don't enjoy reading. A lot of people don't read. A lot of people aren't gonna sit and read a long blog for four or five minutes. If you can bring down a video in about a minute, two minutes, or even three minutes and get a message across, People can digest that information mentally much easier and simpler than they could if they're going to read a blog or some big article. Not everybody's into doing that, okay? So the most popular form of content right now and forever, I don't think of any other type, even podcasts in some way, shape or form is less popular, but video content is so much easier to relay information, knowledge, learning, uh, food product information, right? Or services or anything that you're doing that's food business related can be brought into a video format and easily learned and, and digested from there. And from that point, you can get them to click on that, that little link down below the video in the description section. Go over to your Amazon store and buy your food product. Go over to your eBay store and whatever it may be, your Shopify store or GoDaddy, whatever it is that you're selling online, you can reach more people. So this is a great resource of 10 ideas that I've learned over the past few years and I've implemented and it's been extremely successful for us. Um, it takes time to do it, but it costs nothing to, to start it. So how do you market your business on YouTube and can I promote my products on YouTube? You most certainly can and it is one of the greatest medium that has ever been brought up ever. Last little note, remember this, video content creation that's posted on YouTube and it's online is there forever, forever. If you create content online and you have it on a website or YouTube channel, or whatever blog, where it may be, it is there forever. Why is that important? Because you can use that over and over and over and over and over without being charged or have a fee or pay for it because it's free to post and it's gonna draw customers forever in a day. So whatever the business is that you're doing and you wanted to sell a product or service, if you're tapping into YouTube, let me tell you, it's for us, it's been amazing. Like I said, we have nearly 40 million views on our channels and this is over just the past four or five years. Um, so we've been able to leverage that and that has been great for us as far as our income and our business growth. Basically, get out there and do it. So if you have any questions about starting your own YouTube channel, let us know down below. And of course, remember I have consulting available, our one hour consults if you have questions about a YouTube channel or being started um, or even creating a food entrepreneurship uh, business, let me know, uh, we have that available. So check out these videos here too. These are some additional resources that will pop up here on the screen um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.